Whiteout Survival. Bookbunk Plus. King of Icefield Day 3. 150 spins of the Lucky Wheel. Whiteout Survival Lucky Wheel Mathematics. Hi everyone. Some of you messaged me to ask me to clarify how many gems it takes to do 120, 150, or 450 spins of the Lucky Wheel and the expected shard yield. It depends on the day you spin the Lucky Wheel. In this video, I will show you the mathematics behind the Lucky Wheel in Whiteout Survival, as well as me spinning the Lucky Wheel 150 times on day two of Lucky Wheel and day three of King of Icefield. Please feel free to pause any time to take screenshots. There are some online guides saying it will cost 175,500 gems to complete 117 spins on the Lucky Wheel, with three free spins throughout the event, to get to a total of 120 spins. However, this is inaccurate as it does not take into consideration the 10% discount per batch of 10 spins, where only nine Lucky Chips are needed for 10 spins. It is accurate if you press the Lucky Wheel single spin 120 times. I will show you why in this video. Please note the discount of nine lucky chips for 10 spins could have been introduced recently after the website guides were written or is only available to older servers. I do not know. I dated the screenshots just in case things change in the future. There was some doubt over whether the second batch of 10 spins is still discounted after the first batch. And this was not clear in the previous videos because, as some of you have pointed out to me, the gem count at the top was shown in millions, not thousands. So here I will keep the gems usage reminder on, so for each batch of 10 spins together, we can see how many gems in thousands are needed. At the end of the video, I will also show you my gems transaction history to verify the number of gems spent. If you are a free-to-play player or have limited number of gems to get the most value from Lucky Wheel, in terms of the lowest number of gem per shard, your goal during the event should be 120 spins. 120 spins will get you the most amount of shards from this event, roughly 181 shards, 115 from spin rewards, and 66 from the Lucky Wheel itself, at a cost of around 1,312.5 gems per shard. If you have more gems, you can do up to 150 rounds a day, up to a maximum of 450 rounds over three days. Each day, there is one free lucky chip in the store, which is why the calculations are different depending on which day or days you take part in the Lucky Wheel. I took part in the Lucky Wheel today, which is day two of Lucky Wheel and day three of King of Icefield, because you get points for using the Lucky Wheel on days two and three of King of Icefield. Thus, before I started spinning the Lucky Wheel, I have two free Lucky Chips collected. To spin 10 times, nine Lucky Chips are needed. This is where the 10% discount applies for spinning the Lucky Wheel 10 times at a go in a single batch. Each spin of the Lucky Wheel costs 1,500 gems. So for me, the first round will be required nine minus two, or seven rounds, which costs seven times 1,500, or 10,500 gems. For batches 2 to 12 or 15, to spin 10 the wheels 10 times, 9 lucky chips are required, so 9 times 1,500 or 13,500 gems are required per batch of 10 spins. Thus, the total number of gems spent today is 199,500, almost 200,000. Assuming you are spinning this on day 3, where you would have collected 3 lucky chips at the start of day 3, you will require 1,500 fewer gems but you will not score any points for King of Icefield. For completeness, I have also included screenshots of the math if you spin the Lucky Wheel 120 or 150 times on the first day of Lucky Wheel and the expected gem count spend to spin the Lucky Wheel 120, 150 in the third day or 450 times over all three days. If you like this content, please kindly click the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell button. Thank you very much. Have a good day.
Use me as a blade. Use me as a blade. All foes shall vanquish. <laughs> <laughs> 